Part 10 The Lost Colony of Roanoke Roanoke Colony was one of the first European settlements in the United States. Located on an island off the coast of what is now the state of North Carolina, the colony was established in 1587 under the auspices of the first Queen Elizabeth. Soon after, the colony's leader, John White, returned to England from where the settlers came. His trip was meant to be brief. He was only meant to grab supplies and return to the New World. But political upheaval, in the form of England's war with Spain, prevented White from returning until 1590. It was only three years, but a lot had changed when John White returned. In fact, the entire colony, consisting, at the time, of 115 people, including a newborn baby by the name of Virginia Dare, were gone. Just up and vanished. All that was left was a post onto which the word Crotone had been carved. Crotone referred to the name of a native tribe that had been on good terms with the settlers. So White thought the colonists had moved to Crotone Island, now known as Hatteras, North Carolina. But they had not. It remains one of the most famous disappearances that no one can explain. What's more, there's never been any evidence to suggest the colony was massacred. Many believe that baby Virginia grew into a beautiful young woman, one who eventually fell into a doomed love affair with a native warrior by the name of Okisko. To this day, she haunts the woods in search of her man, often in the form of a diaphanous white deer, one that always vanishes at dawn. According to Encypedia, a state encyclopedia maintained by the North Carolina Government and Heritage Library, long-time residents of the island have no doubt that the identity of the phantom deer is the ghost of Virginia Dare. If you're itching for an explanation to how an entire colony could just disappear, you're not alone. On the positive side, it's one of a handful of mysteries that could be solved in the next decade.